Alrighty, everybody, I'm coming to you live from my Twitch channel. If you want to join my streams, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And what we're doing in this stream, or what we're doing in this YouTube video, if you're watching this on YouTube, is that we're going to be ranking all MK movies and all MK TV shows, all MK film on a tier list. This is going to be my honest opinion. I've seen all of them for the most part and i believe that i am ready to tell you guys which ones which mk movies and shows i think are the best and which ones i think are the worst like which ones are the ones to go to and which ones are the ones to avoid and not watch so if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like on this video and subscribe for more videos like this i'm very excited to get this started so let's just jump into it so what we're going to be including in this tier list is mortal kombat 1995 of course annihilation the journey begins defenders of the realm conquest rebirth legacy season one and legacy season two scorpion's revenge and then the mortal kombat 2021 movie be sure to let me know where you guys rank these movies and tv shows on your own tier list i'll put the link in the description and also you guys can comment down below and let me know your rankings starting with the 95 movie this is gonna go at s tier honestly i think the meme of people saying that people are pretending to like this movie or people only pretend or this movie is actually bad i think either they don't know what they're talking about or they try to act like they're like a cool unique opinion kind of kid and honestly it comes across as really cringe and usually when you talk to the people who don't like the movie don't like the 95 movie they usually kind of describe annihilation like they describe like bad acting bad cg like uh no fatalities like weak fights and all that kind of stuff that is annihilation that is not 95 mortal kombat 1995 is like it has some of those problems but mortal kombat annihilation is more of that problem of more of what you're describing than the 95 movie you have to understand that mortal kombat 1995 influence so many things that we have in Mortal Kombat today. Liu Kang having like a sense of humor nowadays came from the 95 movie. Johnny Cage being the funny guy came from the 95 movie. Sonya's persona came from the 95 movie. Kano being Australian came from the 95 movie. Like this movie impacted Mortal Kombat for the better. This changed Mortal Kombat forever and that's why it's going at S tier. All right, so Mortal Kombat Annihilation. So to me, look, see, if I'm gonna be honest, I do not have a problem watching the uh, Annihilation. I will watch Annihilation any day of the fucking week. It is so hilariously bad. It is so funny. It is just so fucking funny. And I, I just love laughing and quoting the movie and 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 just and making fun of it it's so 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 good to watch it's so bad it's good i just i love it i love it that's why i like watching annihilation that's why i prefer annihilation over a lot of the movies that are on here but if i'm gonna be honest i i, I mean it has to be at f right it has to be at f but because it, it's terrible it's such a bad movie i fucking hate it um, so be, be actually, you know what? I'll put, I'll put Annihilation at D tier because it makes, it, it gives you a good time. Like you're not miserable watching it to me, at least not for me. I enjoy watching it because of how hilariously bad it is. So that's why I'm putting it at D tier. I'm going to put Annihilation at D tier. Now I'll be honest. I have not watched Mortal Kombat. The journey begins. Mortal Kombat. The journey begins was basically like kind of like a prequel like an animated movie to the 95 movie it's terrible it's really bad it, it, it's basically f tier like i don't have any saving graces to it like we've we've reacted to some of the cg fight scenes uh on the channel before so if you want to check that out go ahead and click the the description or the youtube cards but it, it's terrible I, I i don't i didn't see the entire thing so i probably put it at f it's probably just really really bad mortal kombat the journey begins so i actually like the art style i like the bruce tim art style of mortal kombat like i i don't mind the idea of uh mortal kombat having like a kid show or something like that like that doesn't really seem like it's a bad idea especially with this art style um, I have not seen a lot of the episodes, but I am aware that there are actually good episodes in The Journey Begins. I believe the characterization or the Cabal episode in The Journey Begins, which I did see, 
uh, is a really good episode. Like, that is the ideal cabal. It has the ideal cabal. I'm also aware that it also has a really good smoke episode. So, The Journey Begins has some good things in there. But I don't think I would overall, like, give it, like, a pass as a series. So I'm just going to be safe. This will probably change once I see the entire series. It's on YouTube, so I'll probably just catch it uh, someday. But I'll put it at D tier, only because it does smoke very, very good. And Cabal very, very good. It probably does other characters very, very well. That's like, kind of like a placeholder uh, ranking right there. Now, Mortal Kombat Conquest. I recently did a Discord watch party of the entire series. And what usually what people say about Mortal Kombat Conquest is usually like, oh, it's such a good show. Like, it's such an underrated show. And I'll, I'll be honest, guys. I'll be honest. The talking points of people are only pretending or only people are only like... Just, just liking the good parts of Mortal Kombat 1995. I'm gonna be honest. I think people, I think that actually applies to Mortal Kombat Conquest. I, I didn't hate the show, but it's, it's, it's not that good. If you guys are aware, I am planning to do a whole review, a whole like video essay, just a whole in-depth discussion or thought video on Mortal Kombat Conquest soon. It'll be up on my channel soon. So I don't want to give away too much of my thoughts in my review and my thoughts on the series here, but there is a ton, and I mean a ton of fucking cringe, a ton of fucking cringe in this show. Cause there is softcore porn in this shit. There, uh, legitimate. I'm not joking. There is softcore porn in this shit. And there, there are some point. There are some points where it made me a little uncomfortable, but. The good episodes are incredibly great. Like the good episodes, there's about like 10 of them. Those episodes are just so fucking good. But for now, I'm going to put it at C tier. It's a it's a hit and miss series. It's a hit and miss Mortal Kombat piece of media. The quality of the good stuff is like around the quality of the good stuff in, a, in Mortal Kombat 1995. The quality of the bad stuff is like Annihilation or like the Journey Begins level of bad like it's 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 literally 50 50. now moving on to the modern adaptations of the mortal kombat series starting with mortal kombat rebirth now if you know anything about rebirth mortal kombat rebirth is basically the fan film that kevin tanker rowan made to get wb's attention so he can make a movie now he didn't get the movie but he did get the tv show which was mortal kombat legacy season one and mortal kombat legacy season two so Mortal Kombat Rebirth was a fan film to get WB's attention. And honestly, bro, this shit is so... Dude, That this shit is so not Mortal Kombat. This is like... This is like going at like F tier. I saw when this thing came out, this was like in 2010, I believe, or 2011. I don't remember when it was, but I was a kid. When that trailer came out, I was like, dude, this is not Mortal Kombat. And you would think that me as a kid who doesn't really know that much about Mortal Kombat, and I didn't, would think that this is so awesome. Like, oh my god, I'm so fucking excited for a new Mortal Kombat movie. Or like, oh, what is this? Like, oh, la, la, la. like, you would think that's how it act. No, like, even as a kid, I was just like, dude, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck is that Baraka? What the fuck is that reptile? What the fuck is that Sub-Zero mask? Like, I don't even know what the hell was going on. Look, gritty realism just does not work with Mortal Kombat. It never did. And anytime you attempt to do it, it just comes across as really cringe and too, like, try-hard, edgy, like, cool, different take. When really, you're just taking the core of Mortal Kombat, erasing it, and just using the names of the franchise and using the name of the characters just for the recognizability factor. Everything else is just a completely new and like original story that's just not Mortal Kombat. You're just taking the Mortal Kombat name and you're mixing it in with something that's just not Mortal Kombat. Now, thankfully, Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 1 didn't do the whole like psycho killers in an underground street tournament called Mortal Kombat. They actually did dive into the actual Mortal Kombat magic and lore and things like that. And you know, Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 1 is not that bad it's like not offensive especially like the like the special forces stuff and the katana and melina stuff it's it's not that bad but the whole when you get to the raiden episode then that gets really cringe when you get to the scorpion episode then that gets a little fucking cringe like there there is there is some real fucking problems with legacy but legacy one season one is it's it's watchable 
it's watchable. So I'll give it a C tier. And Legacy Season 2 is definitely going at, like, uh, um, ooh, I don't even know. It's either D tier or F tier. Um, I, I don't, whoosh, I, dude, this is tough. Legacy Season 2 is where I get worse. Um, I think I'll, I think I'll put it at D tier. I think I'll put it at D tier. I really did not like what they did with Liu Kang. They turned Liu Kang evil. And you know what? I know a lot of people in the comments are going to be saying things like, Well, Brusque, they wanted to do a different take on Liu Kang. They wanted to make him more interesting because people don't really like boring pacifist Liu Kang. If that was the case, if the whole characterization, the pacifist, good-hearted characterization of Liu Kang was so not interesting, why did you give it to Kung Lao? Liu Kang and Kung Lao's characterizations are completely flipped. Kung Lao is the pacifist, good-of-heart character, and Liu Kang is the hard-ass, the one that's not the pacifist. And the dialogue that happens between Kung Lao and Liu Kang are literally things that Liu Kang should be saying to Kung Lao, but instead Kung Lao is saying that to Liu Kang. Now, the dialogue and the way it's written, the story on its surface is not bad. It's just that it's not the characters. You got the characters wrong. I also really don't like how they made Johnny Cage like some sort of like asshole. Like he just beats people up because he kind of just wants to, he kind of just wants to be cocky and stuff like that like the characterizations with a lot of these characters in legacy season two i know i'm being very brief in my thoughts you guys might be asking what about this this and that what about these th episodes and all that kind of stuff and yes i will talk about that but i don't want to give too much of my thoughts away because i am planning to do a video based on reviewing legacy and how i feel about the series along with conquest so just stay tuned for that video Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge. I remember being so, so excited for this movie to come out. I was so determined, so determined to pay for this movie, to watch it as soon as it dropped on demand. And guess what? When I watched it, I felt, I literally felt like how people who grew up in the 95 movie felt when they came out of the theater. I felt like I got my 95 movie experience with Scorpion's Revenge. I do have problems with the movie. Yes, these are not perfect. Just because they're on S tier, which I'm gonna put it at S tier, just because they're on S tier doesn't mean they don't have problems, but any movie that's on S tier should be the gold standard of Mortal Kombat films and adaptations. If you wanna adapt Mortal Kombat, or if you wanna get started with Mortal Kombat, or if you just want to just know what Mortal Kombat is, What's the gold standard? What inspirations should future MK Media take from? And I think the Mortal Kombat 1995 movie and Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge are those movies. Mortal Kombat Legends and Mortal Kombat 1995 go together like peanut butter and jelly. You kind of have to have both to really get the whole feel of Mortal Kombat, like to really understand what Mortal Kombat is about. Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge kind of like improves on the flaws of the 95 movie. To name a couple of examples, the 95 movie, not all the fights are good, all the fights in Legends are good. Mortal Kombat 1995 doesn't have fatalities. Mortal Kombat Legends is full of fatalities and gore. Obviously, some of the effects are not great in Mortal Kombat 1995. Well, guess what? Mortal Kombat Legends, it is animation, so it's kind of cheating. But Mortal Kombat Legends has great animation, so it visually looks cool. So again, these movies just go together like peanut butter and jelly. These are the gold standard for Mortal Kombat adaptations. If you have a friend that wants to get into Mortal Kombat, show them Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge, and then show them the 95 movie, or vice versa. I feel good watching these movies. They make me feel good. They make me, re they remind me of why I like Mortal Kombat. They give me such a good time. So yeah, they go at S tier. What do I think the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie lands for me on a tier list? Everybody knows my thoughts on the movie. I really don't have to explain too much. If you want to know my full thoughts on it, you guys can check my YouTube videos about it. I know I'm going to offend some people, but you know what? I'm sorry to say it's going at F tier. At its core, it feels like it's ashamed of what it's doing. It feels like it has to explain 
the ridiculousness of Mortal Kombat. Why do these characters have powers? Well, they have this dumb tattoo to explain why they have powers. The characters just show up just to show up. Nobody really gets character development besides Kano and Cole Young. And the character development of Cole Young is just not good. And holy shit, I don't ever want to think about that Goro versus Cole Young fight. I really don't ever want to think about that ever fucking again. That that is offensive. That is literally offensive. I don't want to spend too much time talking about MK2021. It just makes me miserable talking about it. But yeah, that's where I'm going to put it at. I'm going to put it at F tier. It, it, it's definitely something I never, ever really want to watch again. I know that tier list is going to be a little controversial. I am, I'm prepared for it. One of my last tier list videos was a little controversial as well. But you guys know me as an honest guy. You guys know I'm not fake. That is my honest opinion. Let me know your tier list in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on my tier list in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a big thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a video from me. I'll see you guys in the next video.